Hello YouTube, Tom here. And in this video, we're going to be uh, doing a compression test on my Jeep uh, 4 liter. And the reason I'm doing this is to give me an idea on how well the uh, piston rings are sealing against the cylinder wall. Because this engine has a knock. I have a pretty good idea on what that knock is. But that's another video. I'm just here checking the uh, compression ratio, or not the compression ratio, the compression in PSI for just to give me an idea on how well the uh, the engine is in uh, keeping that pressure. The reason you might do this is if you had a misfire. Let's say you check spark and fuel and you have them both but yet you still have a misfire. Well then that's where you get into where you might have a mechanical issue. Either it's not opening the valve or the valve seat is uh, somehow stuck open a bit or you might have a worn out engine. A couple of those things could be the reason. But right now I'm just doing it to give me an idea on how the condition wise of this engine is because of the knock for what I'll be doing to this motor later which will be another video so in this Jeep it's got coil on plug you got the coil pack all wrong here they did this I think in uh, 99 or 2000 because this is an 01 um, the older styles have a distributor that's down where the cam sensor is and you'll have plug wires. I'm going to be taking off the coil pack to do this test. Oh boy. So there's just uh, four bolts of these 13 millimeters and the connector at the back here for the the coil pack get you a little closer now when you do this with a distributor one you can do it a couple different ways you can wire all the spark plug you can wire you can number all the spark plug wires and take them all off at once which I wouldn't really do I would just take one off at a time so you don't mix them up because if you mix them up well then you might either have a really bad running engine or a non running engine because the ignition timing is all screwed up but with a coil and plug one you don't have to worry about that unless you didn't have one spark plug boot get plugged onto the spark plug alright here's the last one First time me actually taking this off since I got this thing. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's see which way do I want to go with this? Freaking kick down cables in my way. get to this plug. I honestly wish this thing had the distributor still on it. That's just me. Make it so much easier. Is it broken? Yep, that clip's broken. Oh, that's fantastic. The whole clip that holds that on there is broken. Well then. 
this giant coil plug assembly. These like to go bad on these models. Alright. So now all the spark plug are shown. Let's get down to the business. So hopefully you can see it right there a little bit. Some of the tips of the spark plugs. Spark plugs there. Number one is underneath all these hoses right here. I would show you, but I'd like to get this done. But this is for sort of just your information and why I'm doing this. I'll take out number two first. Yay! Someone didn't put it god awfully tight in there. Spark plug don't look too bad. Looks about normal to me. One thing I'm noticing, looks like this gap's a little smaller than I would think it would have to be. Looking at it. Let's see the gap. I think it should be a little bit bigger. I would have to check the spec on it. But that's number two. You'll come back to me after I pulled all the spark plugs out. All the spark plugs are out. So now you got a uh, compression tester set or gauge, wherever you want to call it. This one I had in my box. I think it's just a cheap Sears one. Just a cheap Sears one with an end that disconnects. You just connect it. Simple as that. You can go up to AutoZone or whatever store is by you and you can rent it. But, whatever. Try number one first. Hopefully this one will. Well, I can't get a wrench on it, or a socket on it. Just snugged it up, so I'm just... There's an O-ring on that, so... That'll be good enough. Now, since the coil pack is off this thing, it's not going to start. But I'm going to unplug each and every few... Well, you know, even better. Relay box is right here. I'm going to pull the fuel pump relay. Even though it's not going to start, I don't want to wash down the cylinders. So I undid the fuel pump relay right here in this uh, distribution box. Connect our gauge up before I forget. We're gonna see. Whoop. We're gonna see what we get. Now, the spec for this, uh, these four liters are 120 to 150 psi, with a variation between each cylinder of a max of 30. So, there's the spec, and my specs from the Chilton manuals. This is all they're good for is specs.
turn it over a few times so it gives you a good reading. Um, wow, that's pretty good. Number one is, I would say, right at 140, looks like. About 145. Number one's at 145. That's actually pretty darn good. And that fell. Release the pressure there. Undo that. On to the next one. Number two. That one's 135. That one shows. So, number two is a little bit down, but I believe it's still within max variation spec. So, I'll go through the rest of the rest four cylinders back, and you'll see my results. That's the best one yet. About 149, almost 150. Now it's at 150. Here, I'll zoom you in so you can see. It's right at 150. Well, that's the best one yet, number six, with compression at 150. <sighs> but it's the other cylinders I'm worried about that you're going to see here in a moment. So right here, you see my results. 145 for number one, 135 for number two. This is where starts to worry me at 115. Okay, 145 at number four. But number five, that's really worrying on the condition of this motor. That is way outside the spec, especially number three. It's just that much out of spec for 150 to 120 PSI. 120 to 150 PSI is the spec from Chilton Manual and a max variation of 30. Well, I got the max variation and it's also outside the spec 3 and 5 of the 120 to 150 PSI. So that's kind of worrying. Wondering how, what is the condition of 3 and 5 cylinder wall for what I want to do with this motor. Because it does have a knock. And the knock, I believe, is piston slap. Due to that this is an 01 4 liter. Which, the diagnosis of knocking will be in another video. And I'll go over more of that in another video but for the purpose of this one simple as removal and replace of the uh, spark plugs and uh, coil so I'll have to fix that one plug but putting it back together is the same as uh, taking it apart so there's checking the compression of this 4 liter and it's actually, well, I don't know until I get inside this motor and see what the condition of 3 and 5 are. Which will be another video, like I said. So, see you next time.